Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode. Now today I'm just going to give you all a quick tour of the allotment because the UK is currently in the height of summertime and we've been having some glorious weather lately so everything's had a sudden growth spurt so it's all looking really nice. There's also a few new things been planted out and lots of seeds have been sown so I'd love to show you all around. So I was going to set the camera up on a tripod and video me talking about the plot but I thought this way will be so much easier for me, so much quicker and it will also allow me to get you up and close and personal with what I'm actually talking about. So let's head on out. Now we'll start in the area which we usually start in and I'll admit it hasn't changed much. I haven't had the time to actually tidy it and I haven't had the time to make the manure bin yet. But what I have done is I filled the water butt up or the water tank I should say because there were threats of having a hose pipe down here and I didn't want to be caught out with no water. And there's also some more chamomile growing. So when it's nice and sunny the flowers will open up and then I'll pick them for drying. The skull cap is also absolutely stunning. I mean look at the colour of those leaves. I'll be picking this to make tea with as well. So the rhubarb I have just left this year because obviously I moved them um, and I, I don't want to pick from them until they're a little bit more established so I don't stress out the crown. And the sunflowers, I mean, they haven't grown very tall and also they've bloomed already. Well, most of them have anyway. I mean, it just goes to show how hot and sunny it's been because last year these bloomed end of August and it's now the end of July. So it's been hot. So on to the trough. Now, as you know, I like to plant out a gherkin in this end. However, my dad threw my gherkin seed in out by accident and I couldn't find another one in the shop. So instead, I planted out a cucumelon. So this is a first for me, but I saw it in the shop and I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to try this. And there's some growing on there. Now really I want this to be growing up a trellis and I had plans to use an old ladder in that corner for it to climb up but again I haven't had the time so right now it's just trailing along. But yes, very excited to try them because I've never tried them before. Also in the trough is the butternut squash and as you can see it's growing really well and if we take a peek inside you can see lots of baby butternut squashes which I'm so excited about so excited I thought last year maybe it was just a bit of a fluke um, but no they're growing well so fingers crossed now the flower patch is looking a little bit tired now. So I harvested the lavender a couple of days ago. It's starting to go over now. But the cosmos xanthos, this yellow one here, is blooming really well. And actually it's not a great cut flower. As you can see, the stems aren't very long at all. It actually needs deadheading. So it's not a very good cut flower but the bees are loving it so I'm just letting it look pretty letting the bees enjoy it now my favorite flower is this one scabious stern kugel just look at the seed pods um, there's not actually one in flower 
to show you. I mean, there's going to be a couple flowering. The flowers are beautiful in their own right, but I grow these for the seed pods. They are just so, so stunning. There's the zinnias. I can't remember which ones these are. They're either queen red lime or Cinderella peach, but I think they're the queen red lime. Also, the touch of red buff calendula is starting to to die back now. I've been cutting from it, but um, now I think I might just let it go to seed and save the seed from it. So this just so happens to be my tallest sunflower on the plot. It must be about 10 foot. I'm so scared that it's going to blow over. So I've put like three canes down there to try and protect it. And the fennel is growing really well. I, I um, grow this for the seed. The Amimagus, on the other hand, I think has just about had its day. It did so brilliantly early summer. So brilliantly. But um, again, I've neglected to pick it this past couple of weeks and I think it's just starting to die back now. Oh, there's a Chinook. I absolutely love it when helicopters go over the plot. Anyway, the dwarf sunflowers have been my favourite new addition to the plot. I absolutely love sunflowers anyway, but just look how small they are. Like miniature sunflowers. Um, I've picked quite a lot of these already. And there's a few more there I might pick to take to Wales tomorrow to give to my boyfriend's mum. Poppies didn't germinate at all. Um, but these ones here... They are Scabious Black Knight. And, oh, here's one, if it will focus. I love them just before they've opened up, <laughs> but I mean, they're absolutely stunning. I really love Scabious anyway. I've got a globe artichoke too that's flowered. The color is just, oh, I cannot even describe it. So I'm leaving that for the bees. I think this one's pretty much died. Here's some more Cosmos. This is a really good cut flower one. It was actually a mixed seed packet from Sarah Raven, but the stalks are really nice and long, so they're really nice for cutting. So I'll probably cut some of them as well. Oh, actually down here, this is the Zinnia, Cinderella Peach. I love these centre bits. So, so stunning. At more Cosmos Santos. A dahlia here, which I think they sent me the wrong one. It's meant to be Polverton Christabel, but um, it doesn't look like it at all. I planted out some Golden Fever for you. There's six plants there, so have that to flower yet. More Calendula, and you can see the apple tree has had a lot of windfall apples but there's a few left on there and I think they're nearly ready for picking I mean they're not quite nice and big be my first time ever tasting a homegrown apple so I'm gonna savor that moment but yeah quite a lot of the wind has um, knocked a lot of the apples off my rosemary down there still growing really well and there's another dahlia here and it's going to burst into flower soon. This one is Fairway Spur. And also here, amongst the weeds, um, is some Honesty. Now I planted this out in March and this is it. I don't know if they need to be thinned out. I mean, there's quite a big space in between them so I don't know what's happening here at all. Um, but yeah, that's the flower patch. I mean, this is its first proper year being planted out like this. So there's a lot more work yet to do, but um, I'm really happy with what it's produced so far. 
the archway is looking a little bare i would like it to look a bit fuller than that but the sweet peas have been blooming lovely and there's balotti beans growing on here the color is just lovely um but yeah this is what my pumpkin plant is looking like absolutely rubbish but i have just noticed one little pumpkin growing so there might be hope for it yet the shed i've got lots of things drying inside some scabious stand kugel there my alliums some lavender and um, that's the lavender that i picked the other day but yeah it's just looking a bit of a general mess right now so in the old potato bed, I planted out my mussel borough leeks. There's three rows there, two rows of Swiss chard, and then I've just sown two rows of purple top Milan turnips. The sweet corn is a beast. I mean, I'm six foot, so this must be at least nine foot high. I was actually worrying about this for ages because it was growing so much in height and it didn't have any tassels on it. And then all of a sudden, about a week ago, the tassels appeared. So I've been giving them a good shake um, and there's loads of cobs on here. So excited. I've never been that good at growing sweet corn, but this is the mini pop variety. So it's a smaller variety. And if you can see, there is a pumpkin growing amongst them. Now, this is meant to be Crown Prince, but I'm not sure if it's going to be Crown Prince, and you'll find out why in a minute. So, my three courgettes are growing here. Now, the Black Beauty courgette, I've only picked one from there so far. There is another one growing, but the yellow Parador has been so prolific and absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this variety. One of the main reasons why is because you can see the crop so much more easily than, than the green varieties. So I'm going to pick these three and that one over there to take with me to Wales. My carrots are still there, but they need picking because they are huge. But I have sown two more rows next to it there. I've also planted out some climbing French beans to climb up this wigwam. I've also sown some bolotti beans to grow up the one at the back there. And this is just one pumpkin plant. And like I said, meant to be crown prince. However, and let's find our way up here to the beast. I mean, it's just huge. That's not a crown prince. If it is a crown prince, it's going to be massive, but I really don't think it is. All the crown princes I've grown in the past have been like football size. This is massive. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. But I'm pleased. I'm so happy with it. So the brassica cage is looking a lot weedy very very weedy and something's been nibbling the top of my swede so that's one row of swede there one row of red cabbage one row of curly kale which is actually ready to pick i also planted one row of cauliflower but as you can see gone um what's this one? Oh, brussels sprouts and then you probably can't see there's one row of um, purple sprouting so there's four plants there but they won't be harvested until April so they've got a long growing season but it's all growing well it just needs a really good weed as you can see the radish tank um, I'm sort of at a quandary with that because there's actually an ant's nest in there. I'm not sure what to do with it. And I didn't want to plant any radish out 
while there's an ant's nest in there and I, I don't know if I should get rid of it or what so any tips on ants nests would be really helpful because I miss picking my fresh radish the fruit cage the raspberries are growing well they're autumn fruiting so they'll be ready to pick around September time I harvested the gooseberries and the last of the black currants were harvested as well just the other day so they've all done their job apart from the raspberries and if you can see through there the vertical planters didn't work for me at all I think it's just because of the busy work schedule um, they need watering every day if not twice a day and I just wasn't able to do that so um, I just let them die back <laughs> poor strawberries <laughs> but yeah they need to be you know at home or you need to be able to come up the allotment twice a day the wildlife patch was looking rather empty but I've added some new additions there's a an enemy there called wild swan um, and there's also some rebecca at the back there but apart from that it's looking really empty and a little bit sad but it's just one of those areas which I've just left this year but I have been filling the pond up with water because it's been so hot and dry um, the pond needed filling up a couple of times but the grapevines looking really good I haven't spotted any grapes on there yet but I think I pruned it wrong last year so you live and you learn I'm just glad that it came back because I pruned it so so wrong um so yeah I know now I've got my pruning book but this is its third year so I won't be picking any grapes from it for another two years yet anyway um, and I thought the rose bush had had its day as well it put on the best show this year but <laughs> a couple of last minute shows brightening up the place which is nice the spearmint is growing really well i've been picking this quite a lot to have all our potatoes um but yeah that's about it So, I really hope you enjoyed that tour. I'm sorry if it was a little bit shaky. It's just so much easier for me to video a tour like this um, because like I said, you can get up close and personal <laughs> with the things that I'm actually showing you rather than me just being far away going, oh, look at the size of this pumpkin sort of thing. So um, yeah, I do apologize if it was a little shaky, um, but I just really wanted to show you around because, well, <laughs> I'm, a little bit proud of the allotment this year i know it's still messy and there's still weeds and there's still you know messy areas but um we've been so busy and i'm just shocked <laughs> that we actually managed to find time to actually grow things this year um, and my dad's been the same and i'm hoping to do a bit of a tour around his allotment when i come back from wales because he's having a few days off so he can get up and tidy his allotment so he said oh when you come back from wales you can give them a tour of my allotment because it'll be a little bit tidier um so yeah you've got that to look forward to as well um but yeah thank you for watching um i hope you all have a lovely week and i shall see you all soon